Okay, so first thing we'll do is enable editing. Step number three is display slide number one. Okay, that's displayed by default. Okay. Uh, step number three, display slide one, apply a background picture fill with soften effect all sides. Point to the slide background and right click. Open context. Menu, click Format Background to open the Format Background pane. Select the Picture or Texture Fill option. OK. Click the File. OK, I downloaded the file that we needed. OK for building three, so I'll insert that. There we go. Click the picture button on the top half of the pane. On the top of the pane, and then click picture color. OK. Click the recolor. button and click blue third color second row okay so blue accent to dark okay click the apply all all right so it changes it for all of the slides step number four restore the background picture to its original color on two slides Display color, uh, display slide one on the format background pane. Under picture color, click the reset. OK. Display slide two, and we'll do the same thing. Okay, step number five, prepare a black slide so the speaker can talk for a few minutes with no slide displayed. Display slide six. On the format background pane, click fill at the top. Select the solid fill. Okay. Click the color, oh, background, back, background one. OK. Now we can close the back, format background pane. Step number six is apply a transition all sides. Click the transitions tab and apply the shape transition. Click the effects options button and select diamond. Click Apply to All. OK. Step number seven, apply animation and effect options using the settings shown in table 3-7. Select the text or object to be animated. Click the Animations tab. OK. So slide number one, we need to select text box for the agenda on the right. So this is the agenda, so select all of that. The animation effect will be wipe. Okay, the entrance, 
Okay, entrance wipe. So that's what we want like that. Okay, from the bottom. So we want from the bottom by paragraph. So from bottom by paragraph. We want to start that on click and the duration for half a second. Okay. So now slide number three. We want to click on the picture. We want to click on shape. We want to add the animation, appearance, shape. We want the uh, animation, um, the effect option, sorry, is diamond out. Okay. And the start needs to be after previous. We want that to be for two seconds. Okay. Slide number seven. Okay, we want text box about wireless space design. Okay, we are on wireless space design. Okay, so I think they're referring to this one. We want the zoom. Okay. The effect options needs to be object center, one as object, as one object, on click, half second, text box about wireless access. So now we need to do this one. We want zoom, uh, entrance, Object center as one object. Want to happen on click for half a second, and then uh, slide number eight text box with donor names. Okay, we want the wipe entrance from the bottom. All at once after the previous for one the duration for one second. Okay. Step number eight: Use slideshow view to practice use of navigation tools, keyboard shortcuts, and blinking slides. Display slide number one. Okay, you click the slideshow button. So we're down here for the status bar. Click on slideshow. Okay, click the next button. So you can do that like this with hitting enter or some other key. Uh, Okay, let's get out of that. Um, well, I'm going to skip to number nine. Prepare speaker notes on two slides. Select slide one. I'll let you go through the stuff on number eight if you want by yourself. Uh, select slide number one. Click the notes page button. So it's under the view tab presentation we want the notes page okay click the zoom button to increase the percent uh, so you can easily see the text so you can uh, zoom this a little bit if you want that's just 150 You can change it to whatever you want. Okay. 
add the following text. Welcoming audience. Okay. Review today's agenda. Go through animation. Okay. So now we will um, go to the next slide. Let's see. New slide. Let's hit escape. Um, let's go back to normal. Let's go down to five. And we'll go to view notes page and we will type the following text Step number 10, print note pages for slides four and five. So you don't actually have to print these, but we'll go through some of the basic steps so that way you know. Uh, we want to print note pages for slides four and five. So what we'll do is change this to, let's see, four comma five. And what we want to print is the uh, note pages okay you could do four comma five or four through five either way uh, print layout um, scale to paper Okay. All right. Um, step number 11 rehearse and save timings. Click the rehearse timings button. So, under slideshow, setting up, slideshow. Okay, rehearse timings. So you could go through here, go through these one at a time, kind of rehearse what you would say. It's kind of just give you an idea of the different options that are available. So whenever you create a presentation, you know what's going on. Um, hit escape to get out of that. Uh, so I think you get the general idea. Uh, step number 12, use presenter view to view your presentation. Click the slideshow tab. Deselect the use settings. Use presenter view. Okay. Click from beginning. Okay, this allows you to go through from the beginning. Be able to go through. Um, and you can click like a space bar, enter key, something like that to move forward through there. Um, so it just gives you an idea of how, how you can do some of this. Uh, you show the media controls. 
Um, for some reason on the screen here, they're not showing them. Maybe because of the way I'm uh, recording it. So, all right, that's it.